This court is going to call cause number 220519-D. This is in the 128th District Court of Orange County, Texas, and it's in the interest of Jaylee, uh, Elam, and Christian Durbin. Uh, Ms. Durbin, would you raise your right hand for me? Ms. Durbin, do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Ms. Brown Zito, are you handling this case for state? Yes, Your Honor, Your Honor, I am. Do you have any other witnesses besides the mother? No, Your Honor. All right, let's check some services and see if we can go. All right, the court's going to find that on November the 17th of 2022, Mr. Durbin was personally served with citation in this case in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. That citation was returned on following November the 28th of 2022. I do not see where an answer has been filed by Mr. Durbin, which is fine. So let me make sure. Nope, no answer has been filed. You also, uh, you filed a first amendment in this case? That's correct, Your Honor. Is that the case that the state's going to go forward on today? Yes, Your Honor. Did you reserve the amended? I'm looking to see if I can see certified mail notice that they sent cert, cert mail notice. They sent me two notices of hearing. I don't see where. I do know he knows about it today. I talked to him and he said that they haven't said anything to him about it, but he's aware of all of this. Okay. Well, I, I got to have proof that they sent him the first amended petition if they're going to go forward on it. Yes, sir. Do you have that proof, Ms. Brown? That's what I'm looking for, Your Honor. I'm sorry. I think I, I believe we did, Your Honor, but I'm just trying to um, see if that if we sent that to you. Hold on. Keep looking. Yes, Your Honor, I, I do see that we sent it to her to her certified mail. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Do you have it? I do. Um, we, he was actually served with the first amendment on April 19th. Oh, there it is. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm sorry, Ms. Brown. That's okay, Your Honor. Yep, there it is. First amended. Okay, the court's going to note that Mr. Uh, Durbin was actually personally served with the first amended petition. Okay. And again, he's not filed an answer to that citation, but on file for at least 10 days. All right, now you may proceed under your first amended. Um, he did receive notice. The notice was sent. I've, I've noticed that. So he's got notice of the hearing. You can proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, this time I would call Ms. Durbin. Will you please state your name? Keila Durbin. And we are here today about your children, Jaylee and Christian. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Now, uh, 
beginning with with the two children, uh, who were their father? Jonathan Durbin. Now, at the time when Jaylee was born, her last name is Elam. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And uh, were uh, were you married at the time to Mr. No, Durbin? Ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. And we did DNA testing. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, at this time, I would offer the DNA test results as Exhibit A. Ms. Durbin, I've just placed on the screen a copy of the alleged DNA test results for the child, Jaylee Elam. Is it okay if I look at these DNA test results? Absolutely. State Exhibit A is admitted into evidence. Based on the admission into evidence in State Exhibit A, the court's going to find um, that the alleged father, Jonathan Durbin, has been DNA tested with the child, Jaylee Elam, and the mother. And based on the admission into evidence, I'm going to find that Mr. Durbin is the biological father of the child, child Jaylee and now I'm going to name him as the legal father of that child. Yes, sir. Now, how old is is Jaylee? Um, she's 11. She turns 12 March in March. Uh, and and her last name is different from everyone's. Does does she want her last name to stay Elam? No, ma'am. She wants it to be Durbin. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. And um. Where is Mr. Durbin now? The Ferguson unit, I believe. Okay. He's incarcerated? Yes, in prison. Your Honor, at this time, I would offer the TDCJ uh, information as Exhibit B. Ms. Durbin, I've now placed on the screen a copy of the inmate information detail report from the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. May I review this document? Absolutely. State Exhibit B is admitted into evidence. Now, um, back with, with Christian, uh, at the time Christian was born, did you and Mr. Durbin sign paperwork saying uh, he was his father or were y'all married at that time? Um, both. We were married and he signed the paperwork. Your Honor, I don't know if you were sent the acknowledgement of paternity. It doesn't look like you were. But y'all were married at that time. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If if Mr. Durbin were to be released today, would you have any issues with him having visitation with the children? No, ma'am. I feel like he's uh, he's uh, in the right place now in his mind and everything that to be able to get his children. And... Uh, did you have safety concerns with him before? Before, yes, but that w that was with me when he, he was on drugs then. So him being sober, I don't, he's never did anything to, like that. But he's never hurt the children, I do know that. So uh, you are okay with your address being placed in the court order? Yes, he knows my address. He sends the kids stuff through the mail and stuff like that. Okay. And would you be okay with him having standard visitation, weekend visitations with the children if he were released? Like first, third, and fifth? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. I, I hadn't quite asked you that question, so I wanted to make sure. No now, problem. Uh, how are the children covered for health insurance? They have Medicaid. And you understand that while, that while he's incarcerated, we would be setting his child support and medical support at zero based on his incarceration? Yes, ma'am. And you are okay okay with that? No, oh, absolutely. And are are you for any reason asking for any back child support? No, no, absolutely not. Does Mr. Durbin have any other minor children? No, only my two. He has no other children. Your Honor, I would pass this witness. Do you have any additional witnesses, Ms. Brown? I do not, Your Honor. Ms. Durbin, do you have any questions or comments about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir, I do not. No? The court's going to find the court's jurisdiction. The court's going to find, based on the testimony of Ms. Durbin, it is certainly in the children's best interest to name the parties as joint managing conservators with Ms. Durbin. Ms. Durbin is the parent with the right to establish the primary residence of the children. I will change the last name of the child 
to Durbin as per Ms. Durbin's request. Um, I'll give Mr. Durbin standard possession at this time, even though he's not going to be able to exercise it. He's incarcerated. Um, there'll be no uh, non-disclosure finding in this case. It'll be denied. I will order Ms. Durbin to maintain the current health insurance that she has on the children, make a finding that Mr. Durbin is currently incarcerated. He's going to be there for at least the next 90 days, and therefore his child support will be set at zero and his medical support will be set at zero. Those will be effective December the 1st of 2023. All court costs in this case will be due by Mr. Durbin, but I will give him until May 31st of 2024 to pay my court cost. Yes, Ms. sir. Ms. Zito, does that take care of all the issues in this case? Yes, Your Honor, I believe it does. All right, Ms. Durbin, what's going to happen now is they're going to send me a proposed order. As long as it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and get it back to them. Then they're going to make a copy of it and send it to each of you, okay? Okay, thank you so much. All right, do you have any other questions, Ms. Durbin? No, sir. I thank you for your patience today. You're free to go. Have a good holiday. Thank you. You have a blessed one. Thank you, ma'am.